Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cozy Chair, a reading channel for kids. I am so glad that you are all here today. What a great idea to come and listen to a book. So before I tell you about today's book, before I tell you, I want you to see our jelly bean jar. And you guys have been doing awesome stuff. Look at all these jelly beans I've got, so many jelly beans. But I'm not gonna read them all today. I'm gonna to read these four and let's toss these jelly beans right in the jar. Okay, are you ready? So we have Beckham. Oh, Beckham has been picking flowers for his mom on his way home from school. Oh, I think that is just the sweetest. Beckham, that's very sweet. I hope forever and ever you always bring your mom flowers. Okay, and let's see. Bentley and Camden. Oh, they're so awesome. Guess what they've been doing? They've been washing dishes for their mom. Good for you. That's so nice. All of these one good things are wonderful. And when we help others, it makes us feel so happy. So good job. And then we have oh, Lily and Ava. Now listen, I think it is so neat what they have done. They made five dozen cookies. Not only that, they made them very healthy cookies and they took them to three neighbors and then they took them to the librarian. Oh my word, I wish I lived by you so I could taste your healthy, delicious cookies. Good job, Lily and Ava, I'm very proud of you. And the last one for today is from Ava Grace. And Ava Grace helped her mom make rolls and salad for dinner and then she even helped set the table. Oh my word! Now that wasn't just one good thing. That was three! That's amazing! Guess what, you guys? When we do a good thing, it's easier to do it again and again. So sometimes our one good thing actually multiplies. It becomes many good things. So I am really happy with the good things that you kids are doing. Now, the rest of you out there, I know you're listening. Some of you might not even have Instagram. So you can comment down below and tell me one good thing that you've done. Or you can comment on my Facebook page. If you go to my channel, you can see my Facebook link is there and it's also down in the description. So there's many ways you can tell me the one good thing you've done. Make sure to tag three people that will also like playing the jelly bean game. Okay, that was a lot to say. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go put these jelly beans in that jar. Are you ready? What you're gonna do is you're gonna snap and they're gonna quickly appear right there in the jelly bean jar. If you can't snap, you can clap when I count to three. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, snap! Ta-da! Just like that. Look, they disappeared right in the jelly bean jar. Wasn't that just a fun trick? Well, now it's time to read our book of the day and I'm so excited. I love Fridays. Fridays are just the best. So today I'm going to be reading for Lucy. Hello, Lucy. I'm so excited to read this book for you today because I know that you have read What Do You Do With a Problem? But today I want to read you What Do You Do With an Idea? This book is fabulous. And this idea I'm gonna tell you more about at the end of the book. This is written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Beesom. And guess what? It is on the New York Times bestseller list. Someday when I write my books, I want them to be on that New York Times bestseller list. Wouldn't that just be so neat? That would be so, so cool. Let's see. Hmm. What do you do with an idea? One day, I had an idea. Ding! Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. Oh, should he walk away from this golden idea? Even though it's fragile, kind of like an egg, do you think he should just leave it behind? 
I hope he doesn't leave that idea behind forever. But it followed me. Hmm. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Hmm. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. Look how happy he looks. So happy to have that idea around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. <gasps> Look, now since he's feeding it and playing with it and being with it, it's getting bigger. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Hmm. How do you think he felt after hearing that? Do you think he liked hearing that about his idea? I don't think so. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. Almost. Look, he kind of left the idea behind for a minute. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different. And weird, and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it. But most of all, I gave it all my attention. My idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. Wow, look at this. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. This is my favorite page because he gave the idea a room without a roof. That's kind of like with no limits. It can dream as big as it wants to. That idea can grow and grow and grow that way. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because, it said, it's good to have the ability to see things differently. Look what his idea is teaching him now. Now he's able to see things a little different. I could imagine, I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Wow, look at it go. There it goes. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. I love this story. I'm going to tell you why I love this story. Because Almost a year ago, no, not quite, I got a small idea about what if I could share my collection of all of these books with children. Hmm, that's kind of a small idea. And then my idea got bigger. And it got a little bigger and a little bigger. And now all of you are here because I had a small idea. And I started to feed it and give it attention and start 
getting more and more and more ideas and the idea got bigger and bigger. And now I get to be here because I listened to my idea. I hope that you kids will listen to your ideas and explore them and create bigger and bigger ideas as you think about them and give them attention and make them bigger and bigger until they can become your dream and you can get to do the things that you like to do. Thank you so much for being here and make sure to send in the one good thing you've done or the many and we'll put your jelly beans in this jar and then at the end I have six books to give away and some little packs of jelly beans that will be great. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any books and tell all of your friends so I can have more kids to read to and then my ideas can get bigger and bigger and bigger and then maybe I can do more fun things here on the cozy chair because I love being on the cozy chair and I love reading to you. See you next time. Bye-bye.